Hey, just wanted to share my new little guitar here I found. It's a Flambeau LFW5. Um, Flambeaus were made in the S. Yari factory in Japan. This one was made in 1984. Um, they were designed by George Loudon. George Loudon had his guitars made in the S. Yari factory for a while. So he made this design for them as, I don't know, a reward or a test or something. At any rate, it has a number of Loudon characteristics. It has a pinless bridge. It has the sort of dolphin-shaped bracing on the inside. I'm really happy with this one. It's in pristine, almost minty condition. I don't know whether the previous owner did not play it much or was much more careful with their guitars than I am, but it's just beautiful condition. Uh, I restrung it shortly after getting it with um, John Pierce uh, Phosphor and Silk Wines, which I use on almost everything because I hate the sound of new strings and the closest thing I can find to the sound of old strings in new strings. So anyway, um, a lot of guitars like to either be hit hard or they like to be hit soft. And this one seems to like being played softly. Uh, it's a really nice finger picker. Um, it seemed like it was sort of hitting a limit when I first got it, um, when it comes to being strummed hard, which I do a lot, and, um, other people seem to disagree with me on this, and that it's okay, I'm just, it's a very bright guitar, and I'm not used to such bright guitars, uh, my main acoustic, uh, an old running dog is not a bright guitar and um this one is somewhat replacing an alvarez yari of the same vintage that is also a quite dark sounding guitar so it's taking some getting used to but here's how it sounds when you really lay into it with a pick <laughs> Mr. Gordon. At any rate, yeah, it's starting to sound a little better now that these strings have been on it for a couple of days. I think I put them on two days ago. Um, I like it. Um, I'm going to have to get used to it a little, but I think it will do what I want. Um, I got very lucky with a good seller on Reverb. I wish I could remember his name so I could plug him. Um, he gave it a nice fret dressing. He said that frets were at about 80% when he got it. And the frets are beautiful now. He also tweaked the saddle and intonated it. So um, the action is really low and really smooth. It's just slightly buzzy on the low E, which is okay. Um, price you pay for low action, I guess. And it's just a dream to play. The factory tuners are fantastic. Somebody was making great tuners that were going on only the best Japanese guitars of the era. 
uh, my Alvarez DY73 has the same kind of tuners. They're in a different shell, but you can feel they're the same. And they feel like uh, Schaller's, but they're better. I have Schaller's from the same vintage that are not as good as this. So, yeah, nice guitar. I'm pretty happy with it. kid and wanted to play guitar, I thought that must be the hardest thing in the world to play. It's not. 